guys and welcome back to another tutorial uh, today we're going to be learning how to um, add or to a custom dimension uh, this is a user requested um, tutorial uh, from a while ago actually but uh, support was just added uh, for M creator 1.8.3 so we're going to be doing that it also supports uh, biomes as well as dimensions and uh, we'll just be covering dimensions today but uh, first thing is first and we're going to need to add a texture so I'm just going to import one uh, for a block and I'm going to go with copper ore because I have that pre-made and then we're going to go and create a new block and we're going to call it copper or, and what we want to do is select the left and select our copper ore texture and click next and then we want to call it copper ore for the GUI name and for the actual uh, settings what we want is 15 for resistance and breaking is three so that's what we needed there uh, for hardness and resistance those are the settings for ore and what we want to leave it under that so we don't need gravity um, we don't want plants to grow on it. It's not really a beacon base, so we don't need that. Um, unless it's redstone, uh, it doesn't really provide power. Uh, the material is going to be stone. It's going to sound like stone. Uh, the tick rate's fine where it is. Uh, harvest, um, that should be fine. Uh, you can't walk through it. It's not unbreakable. Uh, the light level is fine where it is and Generally if you're making diamond ore or something like that you would want to change this with your actual gem block so for example diamonds would drop diamonds like that and um, We're not going to be doing that so we're just going to have it drop the actual ore block like iron does it's not really affected by silk touch, so we don't need that. And we do need a pickaxe to mine it. So that's all the settings that we need to select here. And as far as particles, uh, we don't need particles. Uh, you can choose particles if you want, but I'm not going to be setting them. It doesn't have an inventory, so we don't need that. Uh, procedure wise, um, unless you want to do something with it, uh, you don't really need to set up a procedure uh, at this point in time. Now this is the page where you're going to be um, working on generating the ore itself. So you have a few different um, settings uh, that you can actually set and um, dimension to generate. Um, now you would click on this and what you would want to do is select the type of dimension you want. It has surface and nether and uh, a custom dimension that I have in right now, so I'm going to be selecting that. Uh, blocks to replace. Um, stone would be the type that we're working with, but if you're in the nether or whatever, you can do, uh, say, nether brick uh, right here, or nether rack and that would replace that. Um, however, I'm just going to go with stone zero and that would be fine. Uh, restrict or for biomes. Now this is where the biomes uh, setting settings are. Uh, you would check this and you would select what biomes you want to restrict it to. I'm just gonna have it go in the dimension because that's, where, that's what we're working with today. Um, however, I think um, uh, extreme hail biomes have emeralds. Uh, you would basically be using this section right here, these two, 
things to restrict it to a per specific type of biome in the overworld. So you would check that and you would check the biomes that you would want. Um, now there's different types, there's mutated biomes as well, so I would like select the mutated and the other variants of it, so unless you wanted to have it very specific, um, as well as the regular ones of so Savannah and the um, Savannah Rock, so these would be the way to do it, but I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, frequency on chunks, I can't really remember what that means. I think um, it's the overall uh, world chunks would be the um, thing. So how often would it be generating? I think it's by default set to like equivalent to coal. So I, I think if I remember correctly when I was creating diamond I think um, this is relevant to the amount of um, like the uh, frequency on world chunks. Uh, it would make more sense if it was set said uh, basically like world chunks or um, even just changing the the vein as uh, frequency in vein uh, or amount of vein blocks or something like that but um, I'll see if I can't uh, talk to the developer for about it but um, outside of that uh, I think this is the amount per chunk so if you want something like diamond set it to one if it's something like coal I think it was set to 20 or something like that probably 10 I think it was like set to 10 so uh, then you would set it to that. Uh, this would be amount of ore. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's like 16 at maximum. If you want like eight, then you would go eight, maybe? I don't know. Um, also, this is how you set the height level and minimums down here, maximums up here. And what you want to do is lower it to about well, for me, I'm going to be using it for copper, but you would lower it to whatever level um, maximum height. So this is how high it's going to spawn. I think diamonds are something like 12 to... Um, 3 or something like that. So something like that. But I'm going to be going with around 50 to 10 that'll be fine and that's all you need to do so that's uh how you basically create or we'll just hop in game and um check out this dimension i'm still not sure why the uh, mobs are spawning i don't know if it's just the test environment i haven't been able to test the actual and exported version of it um, currently, but uh, mobs seem to be spawning in the day, and there isn't really a sun rotation or anything like that. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but it's been in the game for a while, so I don't know if it's just the test environment or what, but um, just warning you guys now that it's a little bit weird. Okay, so I'm going to grab the block that I made. Uh, this is the copper ore that we made as well. We don't have a recipe or anything for it, but that's what it looks like. That's what we're going to be looking for. And we need to build the dimension portal. And then we'll ignite it and go through. So sky doesn't seem to be showing either for some reason, but um, there are mobs that are spawning, so I'm assuming that it's night or something right now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll head down here and auto jumps on again because it's a new version. So we'll head down, we need to go to 50, so we are in the range. There we go, we have some ore right here. So, how many do we have? Is 
So it looks like we only have four right here. And there's some iron. Let's get some... Well, we don't really need torches right now. Some more iron. Some of this. There we go. So this one looks like to be about eight. Unless there's more underneath. So about eight here. So as you can see, it, it's very specific. If we go to the overworld, uh, if we start digging around, you're not going to be able to find the... Um, or we'll just fly up here and go back if we can find the portal. I'm just going to create a new one. So let's go down just a little bit. We need to go to level 50 or below. And we'll need a torch. And I'm not expecting to find any, honestly. think we're going to find any and down here so that's basically how you find and uh, create your own ore. Uh, I'm not finding any down in the overworld so it's working there's some iron here but by now we would have ran into some but there's none in the overworld so it's only in the dimension that we set it to and if you have any questions or comments, um, definitely feel free to post them down below. And um, I will do my best to answer them. Uh, if I can't, then I'll direct you to the M Creator forums. But um, outside of that, that's all I have to show today. Uh, if you have any, um, if you enjoyed the video, then definitely subscribe and uh, comment down below as well as uh, like the video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.